Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, video series where we uh, want to compare the career options that you have after uh, finishing your studies in Netherlands or masters or something like that. So we have here two friends who uh, are doing P PhD and PD engineering in Netherlands. So they um, uh, agreed to share their experiences of how you uh, get into that kind of a program and what are the challenges or other kind of experiences that you get when you enter the program and what how it goes on throughout the program. So I will leave it to them so that they will give a short introduction and then we'll move on with the discussion to give you guys some information of what you can do after masters or after studying in Netherlands. Okay, so moving on with the discussion. Uh, if you guys might, might be wondering like where can you find them, I will leave, check the description below. So I will leave all the information, how you can contact them if you need any help and uh, moving on with the discussion uh, so how does a, a life i mean one day in the life of phd or pd engineering looks in your respective uh, cases mm -hmm. and what <coughs> kind of uh, maybe a one liner or a very short advice that you want to give uh, at the end of uh, the video for the incoming aspirants who want to apply for PhD or PD engineering in Netherlands. So, stage is yours. <laughs> yeah, well, the daily life routine depends on which university you are, which department you are, and which group you are in. Uh, for me, uh, uh, normal day starts at, at, at 9 o'clock and then till, till 5 o'clock work. Uh, uh mostly it's it's about spending time in uh, lab doing experiments and uh, reading research papers but uh, apart from it apart from it uh, since mine is a industrial phd so uh, a few times uh, i'm also required to go to uh, go visit my industrial partner and uh, yeah that can be once or twice a week or maybe uh, not at all it depends on uh, how many meetings and uh, 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 commitments you have at uh, I have it at the company and how much uh, commitments I have at the university. Uh, within the group, uh, we have uh, uh, our progress meetings uh, with my supervisor every couple of weeks, and then there are group meetings in which all the people who are doing uh, who are involved in the group doing. Their research, they present their own research. This group meeting is like once in a month or twice in a month. So, yeah, there are a lot of things keep keep happening. Uh, uh, you do your work uh, daily, but you also keep getting informations from uh, sources surrounding you. Uh, the more open you are, the more benefit beneficial it is for you. Uh, PhDs are also required to to do some credits as as uh, graduate school courses those courses are not like master master courses but those are courses which improve your soft skills for example uh, communication skills presentation skills poster making skills so there are there are courses regarding that and they are very short courses one day or two day course so uh, yeah there's certain number of credits i should i should complete so uh, those courses uh, also come up sometimes, so uh, I usually take part in in such one such course in every couple of weeks or three weeks. Uh, we also get get to chance to meet other PhDs uh, students as well, and 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 uh, get to know how it is working out for them. Uh, yes, apart from it, uh, in some parts of the year we are also required to teach some bachelor students as well. Now nowadays uh, our uh, classes are, are going on, so I take some lab classes for for bachelor students. Uh, uh, yeah, they they're quite uh, uh, hectic, uh, but but uh, it's very 
fulfilling uh, and very fun actually uh, so and it's only in some part of part part of the year not 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 every time so as you can see uh, a phd is a mix of of several kind of activities and if you keep yourself involved and also keep it track keep keep be careful of not losing track of your own phd sometimes you might get carried away and and get involved in all those things and not really keep track of whether you are uh, your progress is is on time or not so uh, a delicate balance has to be maintained but if you are able to maintain the balance then i think phd is very can be very fulfilling uh, career choice you could even tell about the fun activities which are maybe organized in your department or uh, things yeah. apart from your work life yes but this is also highly group and department dependent for example my department is is material science and engineering department yeah. uh, a part of faculty 3me in in tu delft although my background was mechanical as i as I explained before i switched uh, slowly to to material science and uh, the department and the group is 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 the working culture is very nice and they keep organizing trips uh, to nearby places uh, uh, and uh, and also our group uh, they 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 keep uh, organizing birthday parties and 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 and, and uh, uh get togethers uh, uh in the evenings so there's no shortage if you want to talk and talk about research to different people there's ample resources available uh one other advice i would i would give to students which i feel is is the case in in my department is is maybe not enough people know about how good a phd life can be uh, in europe particularly in netherlands so i would encourage uh, people from india who have a mechanical and materials and metallurgy background uh to uh, st- uh explore more options in in europe and and try to apply uh, in phds because you have a good chance of get landing up with a phd you can yeah so mm. uh, as a phd life pdng life is also much similar but it has some courses which you do uh obedient life also starts at 9 am in the office you have to be there you have some working areas you be there and when you have your uh, lectures you go for the lectures you do work in groups for different projects so like you are organizing meeting attending meetings being the part of meetings all the time at times it's like whole day you are doing meetings only and discussing within the group but then uh, uh, you get chance to be uh, to interact with your pdang faculty uh, as the, with the coordinators with the director because you share the workspace with them so it's always so nice to talk to them with any problem if you are facing any uh, suggestion you want or any opinion from them they are very open the culture over in the pdang it's very good it's very open culture you even talk to the previous batch people and the alumni so everyone is there always to help you and guide you hmm. apart from the work life yeah people always we we have so many committees within the pd and we have the did which is under which all the committees come so we go for we uh social party social events we uh, group together uh, and go for different like we visited uh, recently uh quicken off in with the tulip garden in amsterdam or oh, not amsterdam but in netherlands so mm. yeah so such activities are organized a lot we even celebrate both this and do a lot of fun activities together so it's not just working studying but it's uh, bonding with people knowing to get different cultures and living with those people uh, like the food you mm. get to eat food from so many kind places of, yes, yes. yes, yes. we even have every year, twice yes. a year yeah twice Port, a year international dinner, dinner where mm. we do potluck thing so if, it's so much you know, fun if people know about potluck uh, dinner <laughs> it's kind of kind of a uh, dinner where people uh, uh, make their own stuff own food and everyone uh, they bring uh, food prepared by themselves so everyone can eat what what others uh, have have prepared yeah. so if if a lot of international people do you get to taste a lot of uh, dishes from other countries so it's it's, it's very nice uh, yes it's a uh, very good experience to yes. so even know the mm. different cultures and the dishes from there and some advice maybe in one sentence or two sentence which i like to say is that 
uh, if you are looking for now something apart from research or PhD this, and you want to work in industry then I'll say PDN course is a really good because it gives you an edge over other people in the industry and uh, it's not that it's not uh, recognized outside but you can always use it as a traineeship program which you did and could even go back to India and work over there and the best part is like it's not uh, you are not a student you are an employee so you are earning you are doing courses you are learning you are uh, uh, your horizon is increasing your knowledge bank is increasing and you are being paid for that so that's the best it's, part it's one, one more thing of both PhD and PDN is is you can do any kind of summer course summer school and courses within Netherlands outside Netherlands which uh, would help you in your your uh, field of study and improve your personality and all those uh, skill enhancing and the soft skill enhancing courses are are, are uh, basically paid for by by your department yeah. uh, and uh, it's it's such a good uh, place to be in if you want to improve yourself improve your personality and and just want to grow in life so it yeah is, it is. It's, it's, it's for uh, pdyang it's mm. just because two year goes with one year curriculum so mm. you in that one year you can attend a summer school mm-hmm. you can choose your summer school as per your interest yes yeah that is there so that's it yeah from our side so hope this video has helped you guys yes so why are you waiting so long why don't you apply very fast for this phd or pd engineering if you really want to come to netherlands and have a career here in netherlands as you have already heard so many stories from uh, the two of our friends who shared so much rich experience and thank you very much for uh, taking out time on a weekend and sharing out with the people out there like you're most uh, welcome anytime <laughs> like share and subscribe to to Sambit's uh, youtube channel uh, Samit has been getting a lot of uh, 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 feedback, uh, positive feedback from uh, via his channel and we are really glad that our friend is, is helping out so many people and we, we try our best to, to help him as well. So all the best to you uh, and I hope uh, you keep benefiting from uh, all the videos Samit make in future so, as well. Yes, so, don't forget to like. Share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe to the video. So before signing off, I want to give a big thumbs up for our cameraman. Who, if you have, <laughs> uh, he helped us a lot in shooting these videos and making it possible. And you might have seen him in many of the previous videos. <laughs> so I don't yeah. think I need to talk more about it. It's been a pleasure to help Sambit. Thank you very much yeah. for also spending your time and making this video possible and if you have not seen this location so this is the mm-hmm. Tudor library maybe I'll shoot a separate video on the library and- Hello everyone 